April is Oral Cancer Awareness Month. And I started out the month by um, showing a video that has had a lot of facts with regards to oral cancer. Um, how oral cancer rates are on the rise and how the mortality rate does not seem to be declining the same way that other cancers um, are. And that has to do with the need and the importance of um, early detection. So um, I thought as we close out the month of April that it would be important to bring it back uh, to the spotlight to say. So um, I am Dr. Schur uh, at Tranquil Dental and at Tranquil Dental we're always making sure that we're looking at the um, oral cavity, the tissues, the um, sides of the tongue, the floor of the mouth, um, as well as looking at the palate and the, and the um, cheek tissues. And we do that all the time, but we do once a year um, recommend that patients have an enhanced oral cancer screening um, evaluation. And so that is um, accomplished by a number of different methods. Um, and one of the methods that we use at the office is to use a Velscope um, light. And so the Velscope light uh, shines a blue light through the tissues and um, actually allows us to look deeper into the tissues to see if there's any abnormal cells. The whole key to oral cancer is catching it when it's early. If you catch it when it's early, it um, usually is not as nearly, um, uh, doesn't have such a high uh, mortality rate um, and um, doesn't have um, such a significant um, uh, destruction of the tissues um, and requires some um, pretty uh, significant surgeries. So here's a, a sample or a, um, I guess an image, I should say, of um, the VEL scope um, in action so you can kind of get a sense here of um, the light uh, that is shown um, and it has like a blue uh, light and when it goes through the normal healthy tissues it kind of bounces back and so we're able to see that reflection there uh, but when there are some abnormal cells that are down below that first layer of tissue then that's when um, you can see that it won't bounce back um, the same way. And so that um, gives us an indication that we know that there's a problem there. So here is a um, example here of um, some oral cancer. And so you can actually see, I'm having problems with my camera today, you can actually see right here um, that this, for the most part, appears normal and it uh, isn't quite as striking as when you have the light shining on it. And so right there, you can actually see uh, that the Velscope can make such a big difference to be able to um, see the tissue that's abnormal right there that actually ended up testing um, as oral cancer. So that's why it's so important. So I thought that I might give you a little sample of what it's like so that you can see for yourself. So I'm going to be the guinea pig for today. So I'm gonna put on my patient uh, safety glasses and then I'm gonna use the Velscope. And so you'll be able to see the Velscope. Um, it's just a handheld light. Um, the light that is shown is blue. Um, but when you actually look through the viewer, you can actually see that it's um, a gr kind of a green that's reflected back um, at you. So I'm gonna shine it actually on my um, tongue so that you can see on the undersurface there, the vascularity. So first I'm gonna turn the light on and you can see that it's shining blue. And then if you look through, let's see if I can coordinate all this at the same time. So there, 
there's your little sample of what it looks like on the other end. And so it allows us to be able to really um, see the tissues and see any difference in the um, tissue that we see um, so that we can get that early detection. That's what's so important with oral cancer. So uh, while April is coming to a close and um, we're all go going to be saying goodbye to April, that doesn't mean that we stop doing our oral cancer screenings. We do them year round and um, they're very important to us because our patient's health is important to us.